A ball suspended by thread swing in a vertical plane so that its magnitude of acceleration in the extreme position and the lowest position are equal. Vertical plane means you can just think it is SHM. Okay. In the SHM we all know very well at the extreme point, this is the extreme point, velocity is zero. So let I say this is the pendulum and at this point the weight is extreme point here mg is acting, here tension is acting and this side that is mg sin theta and this is known as the mg cos theta that we have discussed earlier also and this angle is theta that we know. So this is the extreme point so acceleration at the extreme point is written as only g sin theta and when we go for the mean point that is lowest point I say it is the L point lowest point lowest point mg is acting in the vertical downward direction tension upward direction at this point the velocity is v there is no component of the mg in the horizontal direction so acceleration at the lowest point is written as v square upon r let I say the length of the pendulum is l so it is known as a v square upon l and as per the situation both the acceleration must be same so we will write g sin theta equal to v square upon l now what is the velocity of v at the l we will apply the conservation of energy means total energy at e must be equal to total energy at l so at e it is extreme point so kinetic energy is zero and if i take e is the reference point so potential energy also zero so total energy is zero here at l kinetic energy is half mv square then reference point is e and you are going in the lower side so potential energy will be negative that is minus mg and what is this height you will calculate this complete length is l and this part is known as the l cos theta so remaining length from this point to this point is written as the l minus l cos theta so in the next step we will write it is half mv square equal to mg l 1 minus cos theta so m will be cancelized and we can say v square upon l is given by 2g 1 minus cos theta so put this value here it is 2g 1 minus cos theta now further we will solve it so let us make some space here we will write g sin theta can be written as a 2 sin theta by 2 cos theta by 2 equal to 2g then 1 minus cos theta we all know very well cos 2 theta is 1 minus 2 sin square theta so cos theta can be written as you can say it sin square theta by 2 because cos theta will you put karenge so you will get this so finally g cancel 2 cancel sin theta by 2 cancel so left hand side it is cos theta by 2 equal to 2 sin theta by 2 tan theta by 2 is written as 1 by 2 it means theta is known as uh, you can say 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 2 tan inverse 1 by 2 is option 2 so option 2 is the correct answer